Hey guys, it's Emma, and if you haven't already started Outer Banks, you need to. I don't think the show needs much of an explanation of why you should need to watch it, but I'm gonna give you a couple stragglers that haven't started it yet, just a couple reasons. First, I got Netflix just so I could watch this, and I do not regret it at all, not one bit. I have three main reasons why I think you need to watch the show. So first is the characters. Here all they are. You will love all of them. And like this little gang is just like a Stranger Things gang except older and more relatable to us now like people 16 and up and everything like that. It's a relatable show but it's also something that like we would dream about you know living on an island partying, having fun, and no parents in control around. Each character grows a lot throughout the series. JJ having so much improvement, Pope, Kia, and honestly John B and Sarah, they grow together and they grow pretty well. The dynamic between the Pogues and the Kooks is the classic, you know, us versus them, rich versus poor, and I think Netflix actually makes this pretty well done because there is a lot of fighting and there is a lot of tension and it's obvious that it's not just for the kids. It's for everyone on the island. Yeah, I don't think I explained. Outer Banks is an island and there's the rich side and the poor side and that's what the series is titled after and it's got to do a lot with this treasure that has sunk in the ocean and there's a lot of gold on it. And John B's father has been searching for it for almost 20 years and has disappeared. Now it's up to the kids to, to find the treasure and John B's father. Now the characters in their journey was only the first thing that I really enjoyed. The second thing is that I could not predict what was going to happen at all. I was surprised about every single episode at what turned out and I thought I knew what the ending was going to be of the series and I was dead wrong. This show was not predictable at all, which may cause some frustrations because during multiple episodes I was going crazy because of what had just happened and how are they going to solve that and how is it going to all be fixed in three episodes to the end. And no, it's not going to all be fixed because there's an obvious second season coming out, thank god, but it's pushed off since Corona. <laughs> I feel like Outer Banks combines a bunch of different themes that we all know and love. Treasure hunting, young kids in like this group gang type thing, and then the divide between the rich and the poor. And they all combine pretty easily and just slide together and make the great show that it is. One last thing that's smaller but it makes a big deal to me is actually the timing of the show. I really love episodes that have a lot going on and these are all about 45 to 50 minutes and one episode honestly feels like an entire movie. So this is something you can binge in one night or two days, but it's also something you could pace and really enjoy. And then kind of a second, third thing is I really love the setting because we don't usually get this island life, you know, all these kids surfing, boating going into the middle of the ocean, trying to find treasure. It leaves a lot for us mainlanders to dream about and really enjoy watching, and it pulls us out of the comfort zone of the normal television that we watch. All of the characters have this beautiful chemistry with the setting, with each other, with their roles, and it just, it works out so well. Netflix did this one so well, and all of the actors, I commend them because John B is beautifully portrayed, JJ is beautifully portrayed. There were many moments where I wanted to cry just because of the choices that these young 16 year olds had to make and all the consequences that actually happened through the show. Alright, if that wasn't enough to convince you to watch Outer Banks, I don't know what will be because it is one of the best shows that has been released this year and I think it will be one of the best to continue on. Alright, go and check it out, tell me what you think about it, and if you've already watched it, do you want me to make a spoiler version explaining each of the episodes, or tell me what you thought. Alright, see ya!